Hey everybody, my name is Vanessa Wheeler and I'm here today with Premier Guitar to talk about a new delay pedal that deals with tape saturation, um, broken tape machine sounds, uh, tape machines on the verge of breaking down by Myland Effects in Montreal, Canada, and it's called the Motherfucker Repeater. Alright, so for our feature set, we have delay level, which mixes in the amount of affected signal versus your dry signal. Turn this all the way clockwise to get more of the echo sound versus your dry sound. The time knob sets the speed of the echo. There is no tap tempo, so this is where you can do it. Repeats sets the number of echo repeats, aka the feedback. So if you turn it all the way clockwise, you're going to get infinite repeats. LFO depth sets the amount of random, non-cyclical LFO modulation. Uh, LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator, and the LFO speed sets the speed of the LFO modulation. You have two types of waves for the oscillator that you can use, sine wave or a square wave. The sine wave will get you a, a vinyl record in the sun kind of sound, whereas a square wave uh, is more of a traditional tape-like flutter. In addition to the wave switch, we have a wet switch and a plus dB switch. The wet switch, when engaged, removes the dry signal from the affected signal. So what you're hearing is purely affected signal. This is particularly interesting when used without repeats, and all you're left with is a, uh, a dirty tape-like sound, which is really great for certain aesthetics and recording. The plus dB switch engages the cassette tape preamp which is controlled by the gain knob here to the side. The higher your input signal, the more this preamp will blow out. It turns into a fizzy saturated mess and it's recommended to put fuzz in front of it as well to see how far you can push it. The volume knob controls the overall output volume of the preamp. Finally, we have a momentary switch which allows the delay repeats to self oscillate or warp. And we have on the back panel, a standard input, a standard output, and a standard center negative nine volt power supply. So before we get started with some of my favorite settings, uh, I'm gonna tell you about my signal flow. I'm playing a Creston Creature, which is a short scale guitar that I designed with Creston Lee, a luthier uh, um, in Vermont, Burlington, Vermont. Uh, it has a rosewood neck, Lawler Jaguar pickups that I run in parallel, primarily for this demo, and Diodario half round strings, so it is sounding rather fat. Um, compared to your typical Jaguar sound. Then I'm running into a solid gold effects communication breakdown fuzz, which I leave off primarily except for a couple of examples. A motherfucker repeater um, <laughs> delay pedal, um, pedal of note today. And then into the Strymon Uridium on the round setting, which is like your Fender Deluxe sound. And then into a Apollo Twin and into Logic. So let's take a listen. Here's a pretty standard delay sound. There's no modulation or uh, cassette tape preamp on this sound, just so you can hear what the clean delay in its natural form sounds like.
Now I'm gonna add in the LFO depth. Everything else is still at standard, um, and I'm going to be using the square wave setting. So now I'm going to show you my uh, what I'm calling my crazy slap setting. Of course, this can do uh, your normal slap delay, but with the plus dB switch engaged and the gain turned all the way up, you get this uh, activation of the cassette tape preamp. Um, I also have delay level, LFO speed, LFO depth maxed out, um, as well as the time as fast as possible, and my repeats are nil, and it just results in this massive sound. So by engaging the wet switch, I'm removing the dry signal from my sound entirely. And this is particularly useful if you want to just use the preamp as your sound source. First I'm going to play what the pedal sounds like without the wet switch engaged with all the same settings. now with the wet switched engaged. breakdown fuzz by Solid Gold Effects. I'm going to play my riff clean and then I'm going to kick it in midway through. So let's take a listen what it does to the preamp. <laughs> So that's been a first look at the Motherfucker Repeater by Mile End Effects in Montreal, Canada. Um, if I had my druthers, I would love uh, stereo outputs, uh, tap tempo would be excellent, even TRS for or MIDI for some kind of uh, time syncing with other musical devices. Um, but this thing, what it lacks in kind of the, the bells and whistles that we're seeing with a lot of uh, digital um, effects pedals is it's straightforward it has a lovely sound to it and it does it ever so slightly differently than uh, other delay pedals that are trying to achieve the same thing um, it'll sound good on synthesizer on bass on guitars uh, warm up your vocal recording it'll give you something unique and it's tangible it's not in a box so I have been Vanessa Wheeler for Premier Guitar and I'll see you next time